This week, we'll be speaking about the dissolution of the partnership between John Harley and George Burchill on Bo Bears Island. So, uh, my sources today, he come from the newspapers of the time, and also uh, from other archival documents that we found over the last number of years, and also the recollection of some of John Harley's descendants. So, uh, in 1857, John Harley and George Burchill had been the proprietors of a shipbuilding operation on Bow Bears Island for seven years. Uh, both men had worked for Joseph Russell uh, since the 1840s, Burchill arriving first as a clerk in 1841 and then later becoming a business manager in the Russell operation, and Harley arriving in 1844 as a master shipbuilder. So when Russell sold the island in 1849, uh, Harley and Birchall stepped forward, and in 1850 they secured the purchase of the island uh, for 1,000 British pounds. So for seven years they did really good business together, uh, building and launching seven ships, and also shipping a large amount of timber from Crown Grants that they held further upriver. The problem was, however, that they felt that the market for ships uh, was really skewed uh, against them that firms in Great Britain were favored above those firms that were here in New Brunswick and those parts of uh, the Maritimes as well. So, for instance, Lloyds of London uh, classified ships uh, in different ways. Now, who, uh, for insurance purposes, many of the ships built by John Harley he, uh, during the Harley and Bircher period were classed for seven years as opposed to what was normally classed only for four. Uh, so they were ships of superior quality. But regulations came out in 1856-57 uh, that said that, the, uh, that, that certain woods, certain types of wood, would no longer be allowed in the construction of ships and that iron knees and iron plates needed now to be affixed to the ship at, at, at certain measurements. So, I mean, when you're in the industrial uh, United Kingdom, when you've got the industrial north of the United Kingdom backing you up, iron knees and uh, iron plates are not really hard to come by. However, when you're here on Bow Bears Island, that makes things quite a bit harder. So the Ocean Bride was a ship that was built by Harley and Birchall, uh, and one that they saw very little return on when it was sold. Uh, they were barely able to cover their costs. So uh, George Birchall wrote Ush a lengthy letter to Rankin, Gilmore and Company, basically laying out the case, saying that uh, they had they had suffered in a business uh, without any without any great return. And unfortunately, in 1857, the partnership between Harley and Birchall was dissolved. Uh, George Birchall sold his interests to John Harley, moved to Nelson, and began work on a general store. Uh, he would later buy out Charles Sargent's lumber mill, and the Birchall lumber mill would be a mainstay uh, in the community for many, many years. Uh, John Harley wasn't quite so lucky. He continued to build ships with the help of his sons. He built another uh, 11 ships between 1857 and 1866. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he would be the last shipbuilder on Bow Bears Island, but that is a story uh, for another day. So, I mean, for many years, uh, we here at the Friends of Bow Bears Island had assumed that the parting of the ways between uh, Harley and Birchall may have been a little acrimonious. Uh, we've certainly acted out different versions of that story, and most of them, them seem uh, to depict the two men leaving on less than amiable terms. But over the years, we have found uh, that that was not the case. Um, by visiting the archives of the New Brunswick Museum in St. John, and also through conversations with John Harley's descendants, we found the two families, the Harleys and the Birchalls, remained very close for a number of years. 
even after John Harley's uh, family moved back to Ireland, they still remained very close to the Birchall family here. As a matter of fact, certain members of that family he uh, came and visited uh, Nelson and stayed with the Birchalls uh, for a number of weeks. And uh, these photos was actually were taken uh, by the Harleys who visited the Birchalls uh, in the early 1930s. So we'll leave it there for today. Uh, Harley and Birchall, a powerhouse team, team on Bow Bears Island who unfortunately uh, had to part company and usher in the last few years of shipbuilding, but two families that remain strong in, in the greatest traditions uh, of the Mare Machine. And so uh, we'll see you once again here next week with more stories of Bow Bears Island, Nelson, and the surrounding community. Thanks so much. Thank you.